Oftentimes we as teachers and even students uh, need to be creative and when we're creating things like a slideshow, we need to add images to add a little bit more to our slideshows. And there's always the question of being a good digital citizen. And I would like to teach you a couple easy tools that will help you avoid some stumbling blocks. Um, let's say I'm in Google and I wanted to add, so I'm in Google Slides, I wanted to add an image. So I go to Insert and Images. And you can see what I've already looked up. I looked up Thumbs Up. And it says results are labeled for commercial reuse with modification. So basically that's allowed me, anybody, to be able to reuse these. Now it does say only select images that you have confirmed that you have the license to use. Um, when I click on this one, it will link me to the actual website. So if it, I need to be very careful and specific, I can go back, I can find for sure all those um, licensing, if it's got Creative Commons or not. Um, but generally, this is pretty good if you're able to pull it right from here. I'm going to click on Select. It's going to bring my image in, and obviously I don't need it this big. Um, if I needed to cite it, I could go back onto there and find that link. Um, the other place I think is great is called The Noun Project. So thenounproject.com. And I suggest you get an account. You can get it through an email or like Facebook, and I have it through my Facebook. And let's just say I want to search for thumbs up here. And they have a lot of icons and images. Um, and as I'm looking through, let's see here. Um, yeah, kind of start all looking the same. Ugh. Let's go with uh, this one. And I have this tells me who created it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and download it. And I would like to download the PNG file. I don't recommend usually the SFG, SVG file. And it can do royalty free or Creative Commons. I'm just going to do Creative Commons. That's the licensing that I want. It's going to go ahead and download it for me. And I'm going to go ahead and show it in my folder. And so I have it right here. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. If I go back to here, and I'm going to go back to inserting an image, and this time I would like to upload it, and I can drag it. So the one that I just had here, I'm going to drag it over into this. And I want to show you the neat thing about this. Notice it gave me like um, the person's name, where it came from, so it already tags with those things that you need on there, like who made it and who created it. So the noun project might be another choice that you want to share with students. Um, great place to find uh, images and such. And I hope you take two for tech and have a great day.